Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great privilege to me to present this research work for you at this moment. So I'll start the presentation like this. So the development is not just about technologies. Actually, it's so it's all about the way it used to achieve our desired outcomes. So when you do this, we have to innovate new technologies and collaborate existing technologies and enhance the power of the technologies like that. But the most important thing is we should have an ability to see beyond the reality. So that's why we need researchers. So before moving on, let me introduce myself. I'm Mr. Prevashana, representing the Department of Computing and Information Systems, Sabarim University of Sri Lanka. So I should mention uh, my supervisor, Dr. Kukul Jayasena as well. So this is the content that I'm going to discuss, this, uh, discuss during this presentation. So as I said, this research work is also the enhancement of the existing technology. So it's a deep neural network. So we are going to find a best way to, we are, find, we are going to find a great way to uh, achieve our, achieve the existing results with these uh, experiments. So let's take a quick walk through uh, about the machine learning. So here you can see deep learning is the subset of uh, machine learning and machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. But the basic of all these things is the learn and improve from experience without programming. So it's a basic. So when you talk about the deep learning, it is uh, it is related to the it is uh, supposed to the multi-layer neural network. So while uh, what? So when you talk about artificial uh, neural network, so computing system made up of first uh, number of simple highly interconnected processing elements. So this is the key point: the highly interconnected processing elements. So it's the same as our uh, biological neurons as well as the artificial neurons. So. This is the background of this research work. So there are thousands of interconnected nodes uh, that belong to interconnect, uh, interconnected hidden layers inside the neural network. So I'll talk about hidden layers later. So, and before you use the deep neural uh, approach, such as classifications and regression, you need to uh, train the models by using a suitable So there are three most common ways, like training from scratch, transfer learning, and feature extraction. So we are mainly focusing about the uh, feature engineering things uh, with this research work. So, uh, and further, need to consider variation of the learning rate against loss and epoch. So, this is these two words is the most important two words in the, in the uh, deep neural network. So, epoch can be known as the time that the uh, learning algorithm works through uh, the entire training data sets. And also, uh, loss can be known as the scalar value that attempt to minimize during the training of deep learning models. So, here in this graph, you can see how the the variety of the uh, learning rate. So it is not suitable when the learning rate is more higher than uh, normal thing. And also, we cannot get it as very low level. So we should find the optimum uh, way, optimum uh, learning rate to uh, do our training uh, and testing things. So when you talk about the significance of this research, we can say uh, evaluate the difference between using single hidden layers and multiple hidden layers. So, uh, in the deep neural network, they, are, they consist of the hidden layers. So I'll talk about the importance of hidden layer uh, after that. So, and also we are going to find the most uh, effective activation functions for hidden layers. Activation functions are also the most important part in this uh, part in the uh, deep neural network. So, so we are going to find the uh, best combination or best uh, combination of activation functions as well as the uh, best uh, individual activation functions related to the, uh, this research work. So experiment uh, for finding the uh, way to achieve high testing and training average accuracy rate. So this is our uh, main uh, task with this research work. So I'll give a brief uh, introduction about the activation functions. In here you can see uh, when you talk about the linear model, so it consists of node and edges. So in here you can see the all the node, all the inputs uh, are uh, with the related to the uh, weights, its own weights. So, in uh, as output, we get the uh, linear functions uh, with this uh, linear model. And also, we can add uh, hidden layer in between output, output and input. And in this case, also, these all the things narrow down to the uh, linear function. So, but the thing is, in deep neural network, we can do nothing with uh, linear functions. So, that's why we use the uh, activation functions as an uh, adapter to uh, convert the result into the, uh, another state. So in, in here we can say with the linear function we can uh, 
change the output that uh, come up uh, with the, uh, the respected uh, neural network. So activation function introduce nonlinear properties to neural network. So in computational uh, neural network, that activation functions of a node defines the output that node given an input or set of inputs. So you can see uh, with this figure, it uh, shows how we are going to act, uh, add the activation functions in this research. So each thin layer consists of this own uh, activation function. So those are some examples related to the activation function. So here you can see the sigmoid uh, and H halo, E loop and leaky halo, like these things. And also it, uh, it related to the different kind of graph and different kind of equation. So related to those equation, it uh, derived the, uh, it's related to the, uh, it, will, it will change our uh, output from this neural networks. So as a methodology, we can say we, are, we implemented this uh, we implemented and we experiment those things with uh, this way. So we use fashion and uh, data set, so it means the Mixed National Institute standard technology, so it's a uh, pre, uh, it's a collection of uh, data and we can uh, get it from the uh, report. And also we use 60,000 training examples and we use 10,000 testing examples for this experiment. So each picture consists of 28 by 28 grayscale single channel images. And also data classification was made using TensorFlow library because TensorFlow is the uh, most effective library in here and also it uh, adaptive to the cloud technologies as well. So with the KRS, uh, we built neural network models. So we did this experiment with eight different activation functions. So those are ReLU, uh, ReLU, uh, TANH, ELU, Sigmoid, SOFTPLUS, uh, softmax and softsign with those uh, eight activation functions we uh, did the we uh, find the best combination uh, with those things so this is the overview of the uh, architecture so we firstly we import the data set and also we uh, label those in, label those things and we explore data and we uh, scale those values between 0 and 1 so and also we are we built and compile the neural network model. In this case, we got the help from the activation functions and we train model and we will wait the accuracy rate. This is a basic and uh, this is a uh, overview of this uh, research. Group. So as analysis and results, we first we uh, did experiment with the applied one hidden layers and one activation functions. So we get, got the average accuracy rate by uh, training 10 times and we got the uh, average accuracy rate so we map those into the uh, graph so you can see in here uh, no not there is no attempts uh, reach our expected uh, accuracy rate so it is 0 0.88 so uh, no there is no uh, attempts reach to that uh, accuracy rate the way we use the single in layer and single activation function so we did this thing with the uh, two activation functions with the two hidden layers. So in here we got some uh, uh, results uh, re related uh, results that can uh, expected results. So in here we use two hidden layers with uh, 128, uh, 128 neurons and uh, 10 neurons to the uh, different layers, and also we uh, keep the one activation function and as common function and uh, vary with the other function and we got the results like this. So we did these things uh, related to the uh, all the activation functions with uh, the, all the combination related to the eight activation functions. So those are the results of this. And here as a result we got uh, some combinations related to the uh, activation functions. And in, uh, we can say with this uh, result the softmax and uh, sigmoid is most uh, effective to use with the uh, data set that we have collected. So we use fashion MNST data set. So in, with this result, we can say sigmoid or uh, softmax for both activation function affected to the uh, training and testing accuracy than other uh, activation function. So we use TensorFlow based deep neural networking application used to experiment because TensorFlow is actually providing great support as I said before. So using multiple hidden layers uh, helps to reach high accuracy rate than a single hidden layer. So this is one of the real world applications that this is also the uh, one of my research work. So I did this research work with the help of the 
to apply to the for computing. So we I wanted to enhance the uh, processing ability and uh, the accuracy rate of my uh, uh, research work. So I used this no, one, thing. One, 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 one. So I uh, apply those research work to enhance the performance of uh, this application. So this is the end of my presentation. Those are the references that I uh, use. So I would like to thank to my department and as well as the all the supporters. So thank you very much. And if you have any queries, uh, this is the time. <coughs> Open for questions. What is the widely used sigmoid point? Yeah, as a conclusion, we got the sigmoid and so, so much both function affected to the, the high accuracy rate and other application functions. Consider a simple threshold, the throwing up. Yeah, we are going to do because, as I said, this is a talk related to my other research. Uh -huh. So, I can see the performance of it. The doses are related to these things. Yes, actually, this is also a more uh, uh, literature survey, good literature survey, uh, and also a uh, uh, substantial. Uh, data museum and after the experiments and then the results are presented. It's very good that uh, the, uh, instead of just for a research paper, it's okay uh, the summarizing the results. But uh, for the, the other, these, these, these are the basis uh, for other researchers to make a decision on the activation function uh, without uh, uh, spending time on uh, investigating the possible and conducting research. Usually the neural networks you conduct uh, uh, the experiments uh, based on trial and error. So the, these, these uh, surveys are very useful because uh, considering the results of various research uh, recommending the different trans functions uh, for you to choose. Uh, so it's, uh, I believe it, it's uh, for the others to use uh, tabulate tabulate the results. Okay, so thank you very much.